Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Hello, it's your girl Monique, and we are here for some What's Up with the Planets content regarding Venus being in the sign of Gemini. Now, y'all know how these goes. You could have sun in a water sign or Venus in a water sign, and some messages in here could definitely resonate with you. Now, if you are deep into the stores like I am, check your houses as well. So we got Cancer, we got Scorpio, and we got Pisces. Cancer represents the fourth house, Scorpio represents the eighth house, and Pisces represents the twelfth house, okay? Or you can, you know, rule rules over those houses, okay, girl? Uh, so your sun or your Venus could be in the fourth house, the eighth house, or the twelfth house. Some messages in here could definitely resonate with you as well. You see that girl I'm giving you a little, a little sensual action. <laughs> so we're going to be tapping into some teens to see how this trend is going to be affecting you guys during this time. Thank you guys for all the continued support. Bookings, likes, shares, comments, subscribes, recommendations, tips, all that. I really appreciate it. If you are new to the channel, hey, girl, hey. Um, so just a heads up, you guys, my pricing for my um, options to book a personal tarot reading with me will be changing the beginning of July. Um, I'll probably still have the current pricing in the description box of these readings that I'm putting out now, but they will be in the new prices will be in the community tab on my youtube channel starting july 1st okay so just keep an eye out for that all other info will be in the pinned comment in the comment section make sure that you are liking the video and subscribing to the channel because it keeps me in what rotation so water signs i've been i've been like bro i've been playing the hell out of this song for probably like the past like one or two days okay so that's how i know it's probably for one of these readings the weekend <clears throat> Let's get the vocals right. Say I love you, girl, but I'm out of time. Say I'm there for you, but I'm out of time. Okay, that's my shit, girl. That 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 shit rides so good. Okay, I love that song. So water signs either someone feels like they're out of time in regards to telling you how they feel being good to you um loving you telling you i really feel like somebody here feels like they're out of time in regards to like telling you how they feel because you know i was you know listening to the song i'm trying to listen to the lyrics like okay what is he talking about um Yo, my mind draw a blank whenever I try to remember the lyrics and shit. But he was saying how, you know, I got so much trauma going on in my life. I've hurt the ones that love me. Um, if he messed up just a little, baby, you know my line. <laughs> So it's like water signs. There could be someone here who I feel like really does, you know what I'm saying, love you, care about you, have feelings for you, but they feel like they're out of time in regards to, you know, telling you you know how they feel and you know they just don't have the opportunity to all water signs this is you to someone all right what's crazy is tyler tyler creator had a song like that too it's called run out of time run out of time run out of time keep it up to make you love me so yeah water sign somebody here feels like they're out of time in regards to you like they just they don't have the opportunity with you anymore water signs you feel this way towards someone so this trans is going to be taking place from june 22nd until july 16th we've already been submerged in the energy so what i'm going to do is pull one weekly oracle message to see what the overall energy is going to be for you guys and then i'm going to do a spread you know how i do all right Spirit guys, how is Venus? Oh, and a little bit of background, Venus and Gemini. So Venus and Gemini is a, uh, the playboy slash playgirl. If somebody here was to have that placement, okay? Very flirty, very jovial, could cause a little bit of nostalgia. But overall, I just want to have a good time. Venus and Gemini just wants to have a good time. So don't uh, be surprised if you find yourself um, being in that sort of energy over these next few weeks. Spirit guys, how is Venus and Gemini transit affecting all water signs? June 22nd until July 16th in the year 2022. You came out a little bit in the uh, air sign reading. I think there was like, what, three cards that belong to water signs in that reading. So there could be some messages for you in there. So here, guys, how's Venus and Gemini transit affecting all water signs? I'm not going to read it because it fell out booty up. Spirit guys, how is Venus and Gemini transit affecting all water signs? June 22nd until July 16th in the year 2022. 
Okay, that's one. Is the deck fucked up? I owe you an apology, but it came out in reverse. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay. So, water signs. You refuse to apologize to somebody. What's on the bottom of the deck? Oh, so you hating. Mm. Wow, this looks very weird. So I'm gonna explain all the different scenarios that I see. Water signs, there could be someone here that you refuse to apologize to. And I'm gonna be honest with you, the way it's looking, it's like, either you refuse to apologize to somebody where it's like, I'm not apologizing to that old bitch. Absolutely fucking not. I don't, I don't know if this is with like an older person. You wrong, okay? What they say, respect the alley, but nah, motherfucker, get out of the line. I don't give a fuck what year you was born in, bitch. All right, I'm gonna check you. I don't know. Some of y'all, <laughs> whoa, water signs. I'm not used to seeing you like this. But <laughs> some of y'all, there could be someone here that I feel like you refuse to apologize to because it's like, why would I do that? I don't feel like I did anything wrong. They was a hating ass bitch. I just don't feel like I need to do any of that. All right. But the first thing that came to mind is someone here. I feel like someone here wants to apologize to someone, but they can't. It could be that hater energy that's making them be in that energy, but it's like ego. Excuse me. Water signs, either you can't apologize to someone out of ego or someone can't apologize to you out of ego. Point blank, period. I ain't seen that car in a while, too. I owe you an apology. All right, girl. Hope you got showing up on the bottom of that. Two of them. Okay, so Cancer, hey, so Cancer, some of y'all could be in a connection during this time. You're a fan, they're a fan, we're all fans, girl, we're looking. All right, some of y'all could be in a loving connection during this time. Some of y'all want to date, some of y'all want to be in a loving connection. Get my bag, okay, like, <laughs> girl, it was going so well. Devil card and the two of cups, so somebody here is in a toxic love connection, could be with an earth sign or a fellow water sign. It's like, it's bad. It's bad because, you know, um, if you know somebody here might be pleased sexually, uh, financially. It's like something here with the flesh is being, you know, pleasured. All right. But, you know, it's really toxic. Ooh. Let me get my seating right, girl. Also, with the devil card and the two of cups, some of y'all, there could be someone here that wants you, but it's like somebody here wants to have, like somebody here wants to possess you. There's a very possessive person outside of you during this time, water signs. Could be an earth sign or a fellow water sign. It's trash. It's like somebody here wants ownership over you, but wants to disguise it as being in, re in a relationship. It's giving a little, a little bit of abusive. Some of y'all need to be careful about people uh, wanting to be around you, wanting to have you. But it's uh, it's some foul intentions. Like with the devil card, they want you because you look good. They want to fuck you. They want to use you, abuse you, girl. Spirit guys, how is Venus and Gemini transit affecting all water signs June 22nd until the last 16th in the year 2022? Ace of Swords with the world card. All right, girl. I see some of you guys have successfully successfully cut something off world card in order for you to move on to a new cycle, move on to another level, or you're being urged to, okay? In order for you to move on, girl, you got to cut something off. Damn. Some of y'all, this is something here from your past. Six of Cups, Scorpio, I could be talking to you specifically, but some of y'all, something here from your past, got to go. Some of y'all, this is a mentality, like you needing to grow up. I told you, they go that nostalgic energy showing up too. All right. Some of y'all might find yourself going through old photos, um, old posts, you know. I'm about to oh, <laughs> shit. I'm about to ride through the old hood right now. All right. Days in the east. Mm. Some of y'all, there's somebody here that you cut off that still um, has feelings for you. Point blank, period. This person could be older than you or younger than you. It's an age difference between you and whoever this is. Page of Wands, Six of Cups, and the World Card. Somebody is significantly older. Somebody here is significantly younger. Oh, Lord. Jesus. Hi, Scorpio. You sure? Damn. What's with all the endings? Y'all only a second reading that I've done for this transit, but uh, Air Signs had this too. I told you. 
Go check out the air sign reading. First card out, air sign card, air, ace of swords, ten of swords. Something here is over, water sign. Same thing for you. It's something here from your past. Um, some sort of uh, outdated way of doing things or a literal like connection from your past. Like something that you've been dealing with for a long time. This could be with a fellow water sign, air sign, or a fire sign. This could be someone here that you have children or kid, a kid with. It's like with the judgment card, seven of cups, and the page of wands. There is no confusion. There is no, well, I don't know what to do. No, you know exactly what to do. All right, with the page of wands and the seven of cups, it's like, it's not even, I don't really feel like it. It's like, man, I don't want to do that shit, all right? It's like, you know, acting out, like having like a temper tantrum, all right? Like telling the kid, like, you got to do the dishes before you go outside. Man, fuck them dishes, okay? Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully the kid don't say no bullshit like that to you, okay? Let me catch myself, right? It's like that. Spirit guys, like you gonna wash some dishes or if you wanna go outside. Spirit guys, how is this Venus and Gemini transit affecting all water signs? June 22nd until July 16th in the year 2022. Oh girl, I do not like them shoes. I like him though. Yeah, I don't like them shoes. Him, yeah. Excuse me. Ten of Cups with the Queen of Cups. All right, y'all energy showing up in pretty head shit. Yeah, girl. Yeah, girl. All right. So, some of y'all, this has already happened. Because the Ace of Swords is the first card. Some of y'all have cut off something from your past. Some of y'all, this is somebody that you have a child with. You don't deal with somebody here that you have a kid with. And I feel like you should. some of y'all could be moved on. Some of y'all could be in new relationships during the sign. Could be with a fellow water sign, an air sign, or a fire sign. This is great. All right? Temperance, two of cups, and the queen of cups. Like, you're in love, love. All right? Like, you could uh, you could feel like you're with someone here who's spiritual. Somebody that, girl, this is corny as fuck. I'm hearing somebody that sets your soul on fire. I, I mean, girl, what? Devil card did come out and page of wands did come out. So you could be having some really good sex, okay? Get it for me, girl. I'm officially two years celibate. And it's just like, girl, what the fuck is this? <laughs> what the fuck is this? I mean, you know, I mean, penis ain't really, you know, everything. It's something, though. <laughs> Let's move on, all right? But some of y'all could have cut off uh, some... Okay, so we've seen devil in the world card, right? Some of y'all could have cut off some toxic uh, situation with someone, a toxic person here from your past. And I feel like you could be in a, you know, a good space during this time, a good relationship. Just in a good space. Uh, uh, yeah. Some of y'all are being urged to do this. Uh, it's time for you to cut off a certain situation here from your past. Ten of Cups, some of y'all, this is a family dynamic. I hope this ain't a family member. Maybe. I'm not saying cut them off, but maybe distance yourself, definitely. Like, you got to cut some sort of cord. This could be somebody here that's codependent, all right? Hmm. Some of y'all I'm seeing with the Ten of Cups and the Ace of Swords, because the Ten of Cups for me can be about, like, if things were ideal, what would they look like to you? With the Ace of Swords, I feel like you're looking at that vision through a very logical uh, lens, okay? It's, it's like, um, I want this, but I know that I have to be realistic about this as well. Does that make sense? Some of you guys are being urged to be in that energy or already in that energy. Some of y'all could have a family member, Ted. Some of y'all could have your child, your parents, your family member, okay? Some of y'all have a very important, like, tattoo that is in memory of someone here in your family, I didn't even realize what I was saying. In memory of your family. So my condolences. This could have been someone here that has transitioned. Some of y'all have a tattoo of someone here that has transitioned. Or something that um, represents that person. All right, or some of y'all are getting that done during this transit. It's a woman. Queen of Cups is here. So here guys. How is this. Um, wow. How is Venus and Gemini transit affecting all water signs. June 22nd until July 16th in the year 2022. Girl, is this what you bring to the den? Hi, ladies. Queen of Cups with the Two of Cups. Ace of Swords, Ten of Cups, and the Three of Swords. Somebody got to go. Specifically an air sign. Maybe a fellow water sign. But somebody here has to go water signs if they haven't already. 
some of y'all this is someone here where it's like i saw the the movie style and shoes i saw the cars the jewels the the, the house the picket fix the dog okay it's like you saw a perfect life with someone here but i just don't feel like it's that baby all right it's like I'm here and getting hit with a reality check. Three of swords out here. I don't know, girl. I don't want to speak no ill will or nobody shit, but it's like somebody get cheated on. Somebody found out that, you know, girl, what other betrayal is there? <laughs> it's like somebody here experiences some sort of betrayal with somebody that puts, you know, Ace of Swords, they get hit with a re reality check in regards to someone. And I've seen this could be a woman that goes through this, Queen of Cups. Oh, somebody here realized this in regards to a woman. Some of y'all, like I said, have already done this. Uh, cut out a certain situation to where it's like, nah, girl, you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna hurt me no more. Oh, I'm not trying to make it seem light, girl, but that's what I see. Divine Feminine, Empress and the Queen of Cups. Okay, some of y'all are mothers, all right? Some of y'all were born to be mothers. Excuse me, girl. It's like, oh, okay, you've been, you been momming these niggas for years. Okay, nah, it just give me the energy as to where it's like you carry, your, if you're not a literal mother, a lot of you guys carry a heavy maternal energy. It's a little bleak for y'all to say that. Uh, some of you guys, it's because there's a feminine energy around you, like astrally okay this remember i did say someone here could have passed away have transitioned it's someone here around you that i feel like has transitioned could be a spirit guy because temperance card has shown up all right could be your mother your grandmother your auntie your sister all right your daughter i don't i don't know girl it's getting a little deep for me all right i feel like that's that that's that maternal energy as well but a lot of you guys carry maternal energy without being moms all right or you could be a mom Spirit guys, how is this Venus and Gemini transit affecting all water signs? June 22nd until July 16th in the year 2022. Oh girl, I saw it. Mm. Okay. Page of Cups in reverse. With the Justice card. All right. Somebody here is realizing that something is one-sided with someone. Because I saw the page of cups upright and then it fell on the floor and it came out in reverse. So somebody here with the justice card is realizing something here could be one-sided with someone. Justice, knight of swords, page of swords. Could be most definitely with an air sign. It's like somebody here might realize they don't have love for someone anymore or the love is quite drastically diminished all right some of y'all there's someone here that you cut off three of swords caused you some pain some hurt broke your heart bitch okay stuck on that shit then pissed on it page of custom reverse it's like you don't have the same grace that you once had for this person it's like you could have been in a space to where you would have given this person, you know, chances, right? You would have given this person grace. You would have given this person wiggle room to fuck up. You don't have that no more. Ace of Swords is real cut and dry with this person. Justice card, Knight of Swords, and the Page of Swords. I'm hearing you giving them the same energy that they gave you when you was in that energy of giving them grace. They wouldn't have given you that same shit. So I just feel like you just dishing the shit back. But I feel like it's called for now, all right? Because now the three, because look. Girl, it's like she held, it's like she showed them where to put the, the swords. And it's like somebody hit you was vulnerable to someone. And I don't want to say they took advantage of that, but they definitely knew that. All right. I feel like you're just giving them that same energy. Justice card, knight of swords, and the page of swords. Um, some of y'all need to be careful about what you put your giant Hancock on. Now, be careful about what you put your signature on during the time. Just making sure you're reading over contracts and their policies very care, very, very carefully during this time. All right. Any sort of legal situations, any sort of like documents or anything like that. And be careful about rushing into something. All right. You didn't read the fine print, that sort of shit. I see someone here could be watching you, Water Signs, who is getting their just desserts. Okay, nah. Knight of Swords and the Justice Card. It's like somebody here um, made a break for it, I'm hearing. Uh, it's like somebody here ran away from something or rushed into something, and now, you know, they get what comes from that. It's karma, all right? 
Yeah, if somebody ain't here being served. I don't know if this is literally someone here being served with like, what's that, like subpoena? Being subpoenaed or something like that. I just see someone here getting served with uh papers. Could be divorce, all right? Oh, that baby's so cute. Spirit guys, what's going on? How is this Venus and Gemini transit affecting all water signs? June 22nd until July 16th in the year 2022. Emperor. with I was waiting for it to show up. This shit right here. Death, all right? Yeah. I see someone here no longer wants to hold on to someone. Death card, four pentacles. And I'm hearing this, you know, this is the death grip. Okay, death and the four pentacles. Somebody here was holding on to something so tightly. Ace of cups, some sort of love connection. Yep, ace of cups and the three of pentacles. Building something with someone. Could have been with a fellow water sign, earth sign, or a fire sign. Ten of cups is someone here that has a child, children, or a family dynamic with. But with the page of cups in reverse. <sighs> oh, hi, man. Okay, Emperor card, divine masculine. Oh, girl, am I talking to y'all? It's like someone here might have felt like they need to be with someone um, out of obligation. Could be to do to kids. Okay, page of cups and the ten of cups is out here. All right. No more. Uh, somebody cut that out. Okay. Somebody here has cut that out or somebody needs to cut that out. Some of y'all, I don't know which end you on. All right. Yeah. Page of Cuts in reverse with the Emperor card. I feel like some of you guys, this is giving me the energy as to where it's like, that's the difference between me and you. It's like, I'll give you the grace, but once you run out of chances with me, that's it for you. Okay, girl, you dust in the fucking wind. Like, I, I never knew you. Some of y'all have that energy towards someone. Death card and the Four of Pentacles, you're no longer hanging on to this person. Ace of Cups, because you fill in your own cup during this time. And might I say, girl, damn. I want to get in your business, but that's a wonderful thing right there. I ain't yet yet out, okay? Look at it. I'm going to say what I heard. Pretty pussy. I said the fuck what I said, man. Or you know the men is out here. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know, girl, you know how Venus and Gemini do. Okay, Venus and Gemini is a little bit flirty, all right? So some of y'all are, um, you know blessed down there whether you are a man or a woman Ooh. long and strong wet and wild okay whichever one see you guys mm. the lovers with the eight of pentacles yeah somebody here is being faced to make a certain choice and their decision during this transit all right to sever something or well, some of you guys have already made this decision all right, you stood on it. It's like you stand. I said what I said. Spirit guys, how is Venus and Gemini transit affecting all water signs June 22nd until July 16th in the year 2022? Mm, too many. Ooh, Mr. or Mrs. Interessante. So we got the Fool card coming out. You know, I like this. Page of Cups in reverse, Emperor upright, Fool card upright. This gives me the energy of some of y'all ain't no dummy. All right, with the Fool card, I feel like you might come off as someone here who's very uh blase. It's like, ooh. Some of you guys, I feel like when people look at you or deal with you, they might not see you as a threat. Little do they know. Emperor with the King of Swords on the bottom of that. You will let somebody have it if need be. Like the King of Swords and the Ace of Swords is like, I'm going to tell you about yourself and you're not going to like me probably afterwards. All right. Like some of you guys are very blunt, very real, very authentic. All right. And I feel like that's what gives you this energy of Miss Thor or Mrs. Interessante. But with the Fool card, it's like. You mean no harm. You mean no malice. You're nice. You're nice to people if they're nice to you. I just get the energy of you give people what they give you. All right. But you never let how someone treats you um, alter how you naturally are. All right. You're about your business. You're responsible. You are a grown man because I am talking to the man. Um, 
you're someone here who with the emperor card is in control uh, in control of themselves in control of who they let around them okay so they don't play this person don't play they, it's like someone here has a very much dual energy to them. They can be serious, nine to five, whenever they need to, but with the full card. Yeah, girl, we can go to the uh, to, we can go to the arcade, all right? Somebody here has a very good energy of being um, a grown-up, but still having that, that youth about them, all right? But with the Page of Cups in reverse, you can't play this person. With the Ace of Swords, it's like this person going to always be three steps ahead of somebody trying to, you know... Trying to get get over on them. Even I feel like if they are with the three of swords, this person here I'm hearing has karma on their side. You know, this could be, you know, uh, children of the universe. So where it's like if this person gets done wrong, the universe see that shit and they like, we will correct that. But you go over there. All right, don't worry about what we doing over here. But we will correct that. Yes, you water signs. See you guys. How is this Venus and Gemini transit affecting all water signs? June 22nd until July 16th in the year 2022. Queen, this Queen of Cups keeps showing up. Ladies, y'all keep showing up. The men in, in here too. Ace of Swords, Page of Cups in reverse with the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, some, some of y'all I'm hearing don't need to be emotional about letting things go, severing ties with something, you know, not wanting to be the bad guy. I mean, shit, you're going to be the bad guy in somebody's story, Water Sign, so be careful about being overly concerned about that. I don't want to look like I was the one that was wrong. Eh, bitch. I'm not calling you a bitch. That's just my verb. It's just like, you know, eh, okay, you know what the real was, is, shall be, shit, all right. I just feel like with the Four of Pentacles, Emperor card, and the Three of Swords, some of y'all need to be careful about holding on to someone, a certain situation, or a mentality that you know what the Three of Swords is like. It serves you no good, all right? I used to want you and her and her and her. Girl, what? Is there a player in here? He just crushed a lot, girl. <laughs> Four of Pentacles is here with three feminine energies. Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups, and the Queen of Pentacles. Oh, this ain't Empress. Neither of these women are Empress. Okay, so, um, shit. Because oh, the Sun card is out here. I could be talking to the men. I feel like I'm talking to the men. Man, you need to be careful about who you out here giving kids to. Okay? Your seed is very... Your seed is important, girl. Okay? It is as important as our eggs. Okay? Some of y'all need to be careful about, like I said, who you are giving kids to, bro. All right? Don't be, you know, a woman that look good, a woman who got the money, a woman with the with the queen of cups who emotionally, you know, was like, girl, I ain't even got a gamer, okay? She just, she just like the, she just like the kid, all right? So y'all need to be careful about certain women that you're dealing with during this time, who you're giving kids to, who you're starting families with, who you're interacting with. I'm talking to the men in regards to that, all right? So here, guys, how is Venus and Gemini transit affecting all water signs? June 22nd until July 16th in the year 2022. Page of Wands with the World card. Some of you guys need to withhold yourself, okay? Restrain yourself from participating in reckless and or immature behaviors. World card, we trying to grow. Hi, man. Okay, King of Cups, who was behind this World card? Oh, you work for TSA? I'm not a fan of it. Three of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. I don't know, man. Some of y'all, there's something here that you're working on that is, girl, it's just, it's too much, okay? And I'm not telling you not to work hard, but whatever it is that you're trying to work hard into, like, put your work into, it's trash, bro. I'm going to just be honest. It's trash. I'm going to be honest. Some of y'all, this is making it work with someone. Could be with a fire sign. Aries, Sag is out here strong. Um, Could be with a with an earth sign or a fellow water sign. I see some daddies. I see some dads in here. Ten of Cups, Emperor, and a Page of Wands. Um, man, I don't know if you have this energy of feeling like you're getting older or you're kind of in this energy. Oh, happy birthday, Cancer. All right, some of y'all gonna have some birthdays during this transit. Um, could that be why you feel like you're getting older? Um, 
man some of you guys feel like you're going to need to go through some sort of like i'm hearing gradual change but it has to do with your growth it's like you having to like excuse me usually when the world card comes out in the reading there's a new level that you need to ascend to with ace of swords being the first card this could be you cutting off something severing ties with something or leaving behind a past mentality. Maybe some of you guys want to pursue school, um, get certified and or license in something, go into business for yourself. Fool card, getting basically getting out your comfort zone. Thanks, card. Spirit guys, how is this Venus and Gemini transit affecting all water signs? June 22nd to July 16th in the year 2022. <sighs> Excuse me. Knight of Swords with the world calling the bottom of the deck. Yeah, four pentacles, page of wands, and knight of swords. Some of y'all need to be careful about uh rushing into something, doing something impulsively, or like resisting doing things that way. All right. Some of y'all, I'm hearing this could be engaging in sex. Like, you know, maybe it's not the time. <laughs> maybe, did I say now's the time? Okay, maybe now is not the time, all right? Some of y'all, this is just, like I said, reckless and or immature, like, patterns or behaviors. It's like, girl, you know you're not supposed to be doing now. You shouldn't do that, right? This could be having to do with your money. Okay, maybe, you know, money could be tight for you during this transit or you need to, you know, work on saving your money. But for me, this could be money could be a little bit tight. All right. With the emperor out here, you're going to have to be a grown up. All right. Hmm. Yeah, some of y'all need to be careful about rushing into something I'm hearing blindly. All right. And with the three of swords, that's what it end up in. It's like, damn, y'all could have avoided all this shit had I had taken things slow or just did things better. All right, y'all. That's it. <laughs> that was all. What's up with the planets content regarding the Venus and Gemini transit taking place June 22nd until July 16th. Like the video. Leave a comment telling me if this resonated with you in any way. Subscribe to the channel. My pricing and my content information will be in the description box down below. Or other info will be in the pinned comment in the comment section, y'all. All right. I'm going to holla at you, all right? I'm going to tell you later. Bye.